Alrighty folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Final Fantasy VIII Remastered modding tutorial here. As you can see, we're here in the game. Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Quote unquote remaster, right? You know what I mean? Um, you know, it looks slightly better than the previous versions, but not enough to really call it a remaster. But with the help of the um, mod developers out there, um, McKindus in particular, he's the one that we're going to be downloading all this fantastic uh, work from. Um, so yeah, that's what we're here today, is to show you each and every individual step along the way. We're going to be enhancing the um, the overall, the menus, the UI, everything that goes with this, as well as the character models, the field background models, all the, all the background textures right here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get out of the game here and get right into it, guys, shall we? Alrighty, folks, so the first thing I like to advise each and every one of you, um, as with modding for any game, for that matter, what I like to do is go in to your Steam library over here, right? We'll go ahead and find Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Once you have that located, go ahead and right-click that. You're going to just go down to here, Manage, and then go to Browse Local Files. So what that does, we can minimize the Steam window. So what that does here, that just opens up the Final Fantasy VIII file location the actual file directory for that so we want to have that open because this is what we're going to be adding stuff to and operating out of so once you have that open um we'll just go ahead and minimize it for now um so we'll open up our browser so the very first link i want you guys to click on is the d master link now i'm going to try to remember to to uh, list those accordingly in order the way we're um, going to be downloading and installing all of these mods. So click on D Master. This is what this should look like. Um, so as of right now, recording this video, this is uh, May 23rd, 2021. This is the latest stable release on this website. So this should be 1.2.8. So once you see this, if it looks something like that, um, if you're watching this video sometime in the future, it may be a different version, but the install... Um, the install method should be the same, but you'll go ahead and go down to here, FF8 DMaster 128 zip. That's the file we're going to be downloading. So we'll go ahead and get that downloaded. And uh, I'm just going to show you, this is how I like to manage stuff. Um, not only for the sake of the video, but just managing mods in particular. So say you got it all downloaded. Um, so we'll go ahead and open up our download folder. So here's our download folder after we download some of our mods. So I like to go onto my desktop and just right click, do new folder, and then I already have it on my desktop. But I, uh, what I did here is I named that Final Fantasy Eight Mods. So I got all my stuff right here. So everything that you download, once it's all finished downloading, just drag it over here. This will make it a lot easier to manage. Um, so we'll go ahead and we can click out of that. As you can see, I already got everything downloaded, but I just want to try and uh i like to preach organization when it comes to modding and just you know messing around with files in particular for any game but um so once you have dmastered installed let's just go ahead and go back open up our browser once again and click on the second link that should take you to this kim forum here this is for the um, final fantasy 8 remastered forum so right here on this front page you can see the man himself mckinnis this is the mod developer for all this fantastic work guys um, Project Angel Wing Ultima, the first thing that you see, this is the, um, the AI upscale backgrounds. Now, this is still in development, so this one in particular, guys, you will have to go to his Patreon. Um, it's a couple bucks to get that new one because it's still, uh, still in development. Absolutely worth it, guys. Absolutely, without a doubt. But um, I'm just going to go down the list here. So you got Demastered installed. So what we do now is go ahead and click on this first link. This is Seed Remastered UI. Now what this is, is a complete remastered overhaul of the UI, the menus like I was talking about. It's going to take it from the uh, stock vanilla one. It's going to clean it up, make it look a lot better. You know, you'll see once we're in-game how much better it looks. Now this right here is a prime example of, I think that looks really cool. I really love the color scheme and how cleaned up everything is. Um, there's two versions of this mod when you download it. There is the um, just the regular UI uh, remastered, and then the um, the high tech font. All right, guys. So once we're ready to download the CDUI remastered here, um, 
One thing I just about forgot, if you want to use this really cool high-tech font, um, blue version, you do have to download the second one, the middle one right here. This is the um, dot triple Z version. So make sure you click on the middle one. Because I just realized that the um, they didn't put that high-tech version into the D master form. So you will have to download this version right here. So we'll go ahead and get that downloaded. Um, also with that, so what we'll need for that is the triple Z D archive tool. So that's right here. It's kind of hard to, uh, it's easy to miss that link. So you'll go right here. So as you can get that right here. And it's going to take you to another GitHub link right here. Triple Z archive. So once again, at this point in time, that's, this is the version that we're on right now as of May 23rd, 2021, uh, 0175. Go ahead and download that. Um, what I think I'm going to do when I do my mod list in the link description is I'll probably put this up top. So you shall probably already have this downloaded, hopefully, if you follow that. Um, but yeah, anyways, we got that downloaded. So on to the next here. All right, so we got CD Remastered UI installed. Battle Battlefield Pack Remastered. So what this is, is as you can see right here, the Battlefield um, backgrounds are absolutely amazing. Those are upscaled, cleaned up. I noticed a couple, um, I think they're kind of redone all in all. There's a couple extra things added in some of the backgrounds that I noticed. That's pretty cool looking. All right, so what you'll do is uh, just scroll down here, and it's just giving you instructions I would definitely advise to uh, read this stuff as well. I know you came here for a tutorial, but also do just do a little bit of reading on your own as well, just to be safe, you know? Always helps, so right here. It should be this blue link right here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Same thing, it's gonna take you to the Mega Share. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, hit download on that. We'll head back to the original one once more. So Horizon Pack. What this is, guys, is the actual world map retextured and upscaled. And you can see the difference right there. That is absolutely amazing. It's right there. It's all blurry and just looks like really blurry, old, splotchy paint. Right here, it looks like it's actually like hand drawn, very detailed. Absolutely amazing work. Um, as well as like the towns and everything else, you know, the trees, everything. Pretty cool. So. Like uh, like the original one, we'll just go ahead, or like the last one, we'll just go ahead and go down here. Now, this one in particular, make sure you do click on the right one. It's very, very easy to uh, um, get this kind of uh, mixed up because there's a original 2013 Steam version. But we came here for the 2019 remastered version, right? So click on the green one, guys. Make sure you click on that. Once again, it's a mega share file, so we'll go ahead and uh, do our thing and let it download. Next on the list is the field model textures. So the actual models, models themselves and the vehicles and a lot of the other stuff in the backgrounds, um, like objects and certain things, are upscaled with this. So go ahead and uh, go down here, find that link. Once again, rinse, repeat. It's the same thing, right, guys? But uh, I just want to make sure you, I have, you know, have you guys clicking on the right stuff, not getting mixed up with any other versions because like I said it's very easy to get up mixed up with the 2013 version okay so where are we at now we got field model so we're on the rebirth flame now this this right here this is optional but um what this is is cleaned up models for squall and I think the new one is squall and right Noah yeah they look pretty good what we'll do here is make sure you're down here on the vanilla upscaled because these are the actual fully upscaled ones um there's two options here so this light blue one, this is what I'm going to go with, the remastered uh, vanilla. There's also the uh, Rebirth remaster. This is the, the new Squall and Rhino. I think that's brand new. Um, you can download either or. The installation method is the exact same. But make sure you're up here underneath vanilla. Because these are the lower resolution models, guys. You probably don't want those. Those are also um, dot, uh, triple Z um, files. Yep. So you definitely don't want to work with those. So make sure you're right here. Once again, it's going to take you to the same thing. Make sure you hit download. Get that going there. Next on the list, Lunar Cry Remastered. So this is all the um, 
enemies, the enemy AI, the GFs, everything is upscaled. This one's really nice. Everything looks fantastic with this. So click on the purple link right here. And you can see the little disclaimer. It tells you, it keeps reminding you, hey, make sure you have um, D Master. That's why I made sure you guys download that first thing. So you know. Click on that link. Same shit. There we go. All right. Um, Lionheart Remastered. Overhauled Weapons. This is a really cool one. Well, once again, th this is optional but i would totally recommend it look at this guys so you can kind of see a little preview of the change up here now this is what i really like because um now was it the uh cutting trigger or the flame saver what, whatever the um the name of this weapon was the these two in particular have the same model which is kind of stupid with, the, with that and then the flame saver so he actually changed that one up so it's very uh it's it's its own it's its own um model, you know. So really, really cool guys. We will go ahead and click on the orange one. So we'll go ahead and get that downloaded. Next on the list, uh this should be the last one. So triple triad rem uh triple tripod remastered. This is the triple triad card game textures, the UI, the menu, you want to definitely uh, get that all cleaned up and download this. With... So make sure, once again, get the D-Master one, guys. Don't do this ZZ ar archive crap. That is uh, out of date. That's the old way of doing things. We don't need to do that. We don't need extra steps. Um, all right, guys, we should be good. You should have all these downloaded. And um, we should be good to minimize out. And like I said um, earlier... Well, it makes it a lot easier to go everything take everything you downloaded out of your download folder and drag it over into its very own folder on the desktop if you want you don't have to name it you can name it ff8 mods or just new folder whatever as long as you have it organized into its very own thing um and uh also one thing i would highly advise getting if you don't already have it is downloading um either 7zip or winzip or Ren winrar because you will need that to extract this .rar file. The seed remastered comes in a .rar file format. So once you have that, you'll be able to right click. So I have 7-zip, so when you right click it, you'll have a 7-zip option. And I just go extract files. We'll do it right here. It'll extract right into this folder. Now once it does that, as you can see, now it has its own folder up here. So we can actually, just to clean things up, we can actually delete the .rar file since we have it extracted. All right, guys. So without further ado, we are ready to be modding here. So you should have the Final Fantasy VIII file directory still open. So we just minimized that out earlier. So here that here's that right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that on my left side of the screen here. Just um, so I don't know if you can, guys will be able to see every little detail here. So I just want to make sure that you are aware of that. So Final Fantasy VIII's file directory is on the left side. All my downloads will be on the right side. I have multiple monitors, so I'll kind of move stuff out of the way here. But you should be able to only be able to see this one right here. So first things first, Final Fantasy VIII Demastered. Um, you'll see some of these are zipped folders. Now, you don't have to unzip these ones in particular, really, to for, for everything to work. It's fine. Um, I think, like, the bigger ones, if you want to unzip them, when you can go ahead and do that. And when you go to drag the files over, it... It'll move over a little bit faster, possibly, but we'll go ahead and hit D Master. So I always advise with these types of mods, if they include something called like a README or something like this, like a text document, go ahead and just go ahead and look through that real fast because sometimes it'll give you uh, important details and instructions. Um, certain games, certain mods, you might download something and it might require another mod. Um, that's not entirely the case, but I'm just, you know, saying uh, as a generalization. So it says right here, just drop to your folder, Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Tells you the file directory, but we already got that taken care of. So what we can do is just highlight all this stuff. Now, you don't need these folders, um, these text documents. 
he doesn't it's not a big deal if you drag him over into your file directory but what i like to do so we have everything highlighted hold your left control button your left control key go ahead and click that simple dll loader click that and change log that way we only have these files right here highlighted that's what we're going to be dragging and dropping that's six files right there go ahead and throw that into your main directory guys now i already have a couple ones in here um, residual files from when I previously modded it, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and hit replace, but you shouldn't have to replace anything. It should just go over because it's all new files for you. So now with that installed, so what we're going to do right now, as you can see in our Final Fantasy VIII file directory, this is everything that's highlighted is what we just dropped over here. So we're going to go ahead and click on the D master manager. That's an application file guys. Go ahead and click on that. Now it's going to have a little false flag. It's because Windows doesn't really know what type of file this is. It's saying, whoa, we don't know what this is. It's an unrecognized app. It's fine. What you do is you click more info. Run anyway. It'll be fine, guys. Um, if not, you might have to right click and run it as administrator. I've never really had that, that issue with any of my uh, PCs and setups for anybody else. Um, it's going to come up right here. We detect you don't have unpacked files for a D master. So what you do is just hit a, a yes. It's going to go ahead and do its thing. So basically what it's doing is these main files right here, this main dot triple Z, this is kind of like everything textures and a bunch of other files in the game um, packed into their very own format from that's how Square Enix did that. They were able to compress everything and put it and pack it into this file format. So the DMaster tool is unpacking that into its very own folder so that it's so that it's moddable, it's editable, so we can go in there and uh, you know, change up stuff. So just give that a couple minutes, however long it takes, depending on if um if you're on a regular standard hard drive or a a solid state drive. Shouldn't take too long though, we'll, we'll be done here shortly. Alright guys, we are all done, so you should be on this little window right here now that stuff's all complete so if you get this screen you're good to just exit out now so this is what it did it just created a D master folder that's two and a half gigabytes so like I said that unpacked all the stuff in the game the music um, data textures which is really cool it's a probably the definitely the most um, important mod that you need to do any you can't do anything else you know without this so having said that we'll go back to the uh main final fantasy 8 directory now you'll see what i have here is a backup folder you won't have that what i want you to go ahead and do is right click in that directory hit new folder and then just go ahead and name that backup or um ff8 backup or original whatever you want to name it now at this point in time i'm not quite sure if we need to uh because I'm kind of used to the old version, but we'd have to replace the um, FF8 launcher and stuff. So what I'd like to do is just copy paste this right here um, as a precaution. This FF8 application. And then um, right click this main dot triple Z right here. Just because this is the, uh, the uh, original. Now... We're not using the triple um, Z archive tool anymore, but I still like to do it the old way and just to be safe. Um, so I'm not really sure. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. You probably don't have to do this, but it's not that big of a file, so I'll do it anyways. We'll just go ahead and paste it in there. Just like so. So you'll have just you'll have your uh, really important files backed up in here. If anything goes wrong, which is pretty easy to do, you know. All right. So in order to actually uh extract and activate the seed remastered ui into our uh directory here we will have to use this tool here the triple z d archive tool this is going to be the only mod that we're gonna have to use this for i just about forgot that we did have to use this so um there might excuse any awkward edits in the video if i mention anything about not having to use this because this is me going back and uh <laughs> redoing this part anyways guys We'll have that downloaded, right? So go ahead and click on that. Um, it doesn't really matter, but I went ahead and just unzipped the file just because it has a, an, actually, an actual application executable that we're going to be using. 
So it's unzipped here. We'll go ahead and click on it. We don't have to move it, do anything else. You'll see it has an in and an out folder and then a bunch of other stuff you don't really have to worry about. The only thing you have to worry about is going down here, clicking on the triple Z D archive application, guys. We're going to go ahead and run that. So it's going to open this up. Looks kind of like a command prompt, right? So nothing to be too scared of. It has three options for you to do right here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and just type it three. So now it's just going to tell you unchanged data will be kept, blah, blah, blah. It's telling you to enter the path to the uh, triple Z file with the original old data. So guys, what this is, is the file that we are going to be extracting the seed UI remastered mod textures into. So our original ones, right? So we'll go, we're, what's the, what that is, is over here into your Final Fantasy VIII main directory. This is where it's at right here. Main dot triple Z, guys. That's what that is right there. So what I like to do is go ahead and go up here, click this. Um, you can copy paste or hit control C, left control and C. That'll automatically copy that. So we can go back to that triple Z archive tool. Go ahead and click here. Make sure your cursor is right here, guys. Hit control V. This will paste that. That's all you need right there, guys. Now what you're going to do is just type backslash main dot Z Z Z and then hit enter guys. So it should bring you this now. Enter the path to the to a Z Z Z file with the new data. So that's going to be the new mod that we're going to be putting in. So I'll try to keep this uh keep all these windows cleaned up not to have too much crap opened up you know trying to confuse you guys here so get that mod folder opened up have that right here so seed remastered that's what we are going to be opening up and just go ahead and open that up all the way so there's two files with us guys the top right here ignore this instructions this one is just the original remastered. It, it retains the, the gray background, gradients, menus, but just with updated uh, icons, font, um, text, uh, everything else is cleaned up. Um, so we can go ahead and extract both of those, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show, click, I'm going to show you guys ultimately when we get into the game, the new style one. But um, what you'll do is... Uh, Click whatever one you want. We're going to click on the high-tech one. And then once again, go up here. Control-C to copy that. And then go back over here, guys. And then just click again right here just to be safe to make sure that your icon is right there. Control-V, just like that. And then we are going to have to hit that backslash again. Hit that right there. Now, you can go ahead and type this in if you want, but to make things easier, go back to this. Because this is the file that we're going to be using. Hit um, right click, rename. And now just hit, you can highlight all this, or what you can do is control A. That'll highlight everything. And then control C to copy, once again, guys. Now go ahead and put your icon, your uh, cursor right back here. Control V, paste. Just like that. And we'll hit enter, guys. So that's going to say file added one total, path to an additional ZZ file, or press enter to continue. Now, what you can do at this time, if you want to get both of, the, both of the mods in the mix, you can do the same exact thing you just did, but click on that file to do it, guys, if you want to have both. And that's a cool way to do it. If you, if you end up not liking the new style, you can just swap out the, um, the new file that we get, and I'll show you that. But uh, like I said, we're just doing the high-tech one just for uh, the showcase purposes. So make sure your cursor is right here. Press Enter to continue. Now, this is going to go ahead and do its thing here. So, nothing to be scared of. It's just writing all the new um, data, the texture files and whatnot that it needs. So, it might take a moment or two here. So, we'll give it that time that it needs. All right, folks. Once that is all done, you are free to click out of the triple Z archive tool. So what we're going to do 
Not to get you confused, I'm just going to minimize our mod folder. We're going to open up that triple Z D archive folder once again that we that we use to open up to run the application. Now, we'll go up to this. So these in and out folders, this is what we brought in. This was our original. So you have the in and out folders here. So shouldn't be anything in that, but the out folder is what we're looking for. That's what, when we put our file uh, directory in and it did all, it did its thing and did all that stuff right in the files. This is the final file that we're going to be using, guys. So that's why I said to back up that main dot triple Z folder, because this is the original one. We put that in there, right? It's in our backup folder. So we can go back over here and we can just grab this. We can drag and drop to the main directory of Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, guys. Just like that, it's going to say replace. We'll go ahead and do that. And we should be good to have that once we do um, get into the game. That'll be our new menus. We should see that right away. All right, guys. So next on the list is our Battlefield Remastered pack here. So we will go ahead and locate that in our Final Fantasy VIII mods folder here. So there's that. Um, it doesn't really need to be unzipped or anything. We can just click on it and then click through it. I just like to click through real fast just to see, look ahead, what it all comes with. So it's going to have a couple couple folders. And then this is just a quick disclaimer, a little text document telling you that, you know, once again, hey, you need this demaster uh, tool, blah, blah, blah. But we already got that installed. So Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, file directory over here. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is click on the demaster underscore exp file guys click on that so from here on out this is going to be all that we're going to be replacing is in this folder all of our textures so that's on the left final fantasy 8 battlefield pack remaster the new files so we can just go ahead and have the texture folder then go over here click on that and what that's going to do is that's going to merge the files um, i already have the stuff some of the stuff replaced so i'm going to it's just going to ask me that, but you will just go ahead and be able to drag and drop that and go forward, and then that should be all good. Next on the list should be Horizon Pack. Now, it's not too uh, detrimental, the order that you do these in. Um, towards the end, there are a couple um, couple folders, a couple mods that you do want to install in a, in a proper order. So we are on Horizon Pack now. Let's go ahead and find that Horizon Pack Remastered. Once again, just like so, guys. That one's super easy. It's not that big of a folder, so we should be all good here. Next on the list is the field model packs. We'll go ahead and bust that open. Get those in just like that. 525 files with the same names, so this is kind of a bigger one. Replace those, let it do its thing. Go ahead and go back. Next on the list is the Rebirth Flame. Now, as I mentioned before, this one's optional. You don't have to do this one, but uh, we're going to go ahead and do that for the sake of the tutorial. So Rebirth Flame remastered here. And I just went with the upscaled vanilla versions. Throw that just like that. 65 files, the same name, replace, yada, yada, yada. It's a whole lot simpler than the uh, old style of doing this. So next on the list is uh, another cool one, the Lunar Cry Remastered with all the enemies and GFs remastered. Do that. 200 files, replace them. Now, next on the list should be the Lionheart Remastered Weapons. See, the, the last time I did this, it was with the um, triple Z archive method. With some of these these last folders, you had to do it that way. And that, that way included a couple extra steps. It's kind of a pain if you were kind of new to this stuff. So this is really nice that we're able to just drag and drop. Absolutely amazing. And triple triad should be the very last one, guys. 33 files, replace them. Alrighty, let's just double check everything. And uh, 
All right, so that is all the free stuff off the Kim Forum. Now, guys, for you guys that want the enhanced AI backgrounds, as I mentioned before, you will have to be on his uh, Patreon. So there's plenty of links. He's, he left the plenty of links around here for his Patreon, but uh, we have go ahead and click that. Um, it's a couple bucks, guys. It's absolutely worth it. Um, I'm all for supporting mod developers. Um, and their amazing work. This guy works tremendously hard on this on this stuff you know he produces amazing results um this is the latest update just talking about the battle characters weapon mod update but i think if we scroll down just a little bit we should be able to find that okay so the angel wing ultima remastered version 1.0 guys so this is the latest um alpha version of that so it's right there as a zip file just go ahead and click on that um, once you're once you become a patreon and you, and you signed up for all that stuff you should have access to this page but we'll go ahead and get that downloaded once that's all downloaded minimize out take that from your download folder into your final fantasy 8 mod folder that we made on the desktop all right go ahead and click on that and it's going to be the same exact thing guys he includes instructions and whatnot um so it doesn't have a texture folder, as you can see. You kind of skip through that. So we, what we do is open up the texture folder in your Final Fantasy VIII remastered file directory, guys. That's in the dmaster underscore exp textures. So you'll see this stuff. And this is what he includes. So it's field BG. So you can kind of see where we're at. That matches up, right? That's only... See, that's... Three megabytes download. Now let's look at his. That is going to be. We'll move that over. Copy that to the texture. So that goes from three megabytes to damn near four gigabytes. So this one might take you guys a couple minutes here. We will go ahead and get that uh, downloaded. Wait for it to do its thing, and we'll just be about ready to start up the game, guys. All right, guys. Just finishing up. It's uh, should have five files to replace here. We'll go ahead and replace them. And that should be it, guys. So let's go ahead and just click out of that mod folder with all the stuff that we downloaded. Um, and what we can do, we can go back to the main directory of Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. Right click and see. So should be around 14 to 15 gigabytes now total. So that definitely takes it up a little bit. It's not that, really not that big of a game, ultimately. But um, I think no when we started, it was about 2 to 3 gigabytes, so... Definitely, uh, definitely uh, increases it in size. So we can go ahead and minimize, or we should be done. So you can just close out of that, guys. And uh, we'll go ahead and launch Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, and we'll see you guys in the game. All right, guys. So here we are. We're in the game. And as you can see right away, the Seed Remastered UI mod is in effect. You can see the new Gunblade icon down there. That's pretty cool, right? Like that. So we are good to just go ahead. And I'm just going to go ahead and load up a good spot right here. So where we started off in the video. So, bam, just like that, guys. As you can see now, it is absolutely amazing how this game looks now. That is a true remaster, guys. Um, still kind of have the low frame issue, but there's a couple of fixes around that. I'll walk through a couple uh, screens here just to show you that everything works, how everything looks. Um, yeah, look at the menu real fast. Let's go through that. Do we have any GFs yet? Yeah, we do. So everything's all cleaned up. These are upscaled as well. You can see that there's uh, new icons. Those look really good. Little stuff like that goes a, goes a long way, guys. Look at this, man. That is amazing. No longer that boring, gloomy-looking, just gray menu, you know, whenever you uh, open it up. Get that. Very handy speed boost going here. So my games, um, I actually have a widescreen reshade effect in, but your guys' games should still be in uh, the 4 3 aspect ratio. So it might look slightly sharper than mine. Mine's Since mine's widescreen, it's going to be a little bit more uh, stretched out here. Um, so once, she's, once she shuts up here, we can go ahead and go out into the world map and you can see right away how absolutely amazing that looks the mountains actually look like mountains they're not just like watercolor mess 
you know. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get into a battle here. Going here to show you the uh, the battlefield backgrounds. Oh, first encounter. Well, we'll die, right? <laughs> yeah, this looks amazing, guys. Right? Okay, and it's time to run because we're not going to win that battle. You can see everything's working here. It looks absolutely incredible. And we'll just do one more thing just to show you how incredible it does look. This right here is a very excellent example. Look at that. So many tutorials. <laughs> Skip through that crap. I already know. I'll just show you the inside of the fire cavern because that looks really cool. Here we go. Look at that, guys. That is amazing. So yeah, once again, big shout out to McKinnis Mods and uh, the rest of the team, everyone else involved. I really hope this modding tutorial was able to help you guys. I know there's a couple other modding tutorials out there. Um, I just figured, you know, 2021, a couple things have changed. I feel like it's actually a little bit easier now, but I just see, um, couple questions arise every now and then still about the modding process so I tried my best to kind of kind of keep it on the shorter side which is really tough to do because when it comes to modding I don't like to cut corners I like to show people to be how to be uh act up and organized you know because anything could go wrong it's very easy to mix up a couple files here and there when you're messing with any file structure any game for that matter but um yeah and I'm usually not the guy to say that say this but uh if you guys like this video if uh, if you found it helpful and useful with modding um if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button dropping a comment you know let me know if it helped you subscribe if you um want to see more stuff like this i do other games uh, final fantasy 7 i'm working on right now final fantasy 9 with maguri mod and alternate fantasy mod all sorts of other games guys all sorts of other cool stuff if you want to see that but um yeah once again let me know what you guys think um i appreciate you guys for coming here let me help you out if I could. Appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, guys, take care.